Armas Beauty is having a 25% off sale. I feel like they don't have sales very often. And I realized I've tried a couple more of their products. I have some new products to my collection. Since I did a full overview, best and worst of Armas Beauty. So if you're considering getting anything from the 25% off sale, but you're still not completely sure what you want, this video is gonna be super helpful. I'm gonna try on every single product that I own from them and let you know what's worth it and what's not. So if you haven't heard of the sale, this will be one of the last days. Today and tomorrow will be the last day to shop the sale. So if you want anything, make sure to get on it. But in case you are watching this video out of date, that's totally fine because my code LindsayM20 will get you 20% off no matter what. So you can still get a pretty good discount on any of these products if you wanted to try the brand out. Make sure you subscribe if you find this video helpful and enjoyable. Give it a thumbs up, really helps it get to other people who would enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get started. So let's actually get started with Skin Prep. This is the newest product that I tried from RMS, which is their Cockadoo Beauty Oil. I hope that's how you say it because if not, that's like really embarrassing. I should have looked it up. This is a beautiful facial oil. I do already have a little bit on. I put some in the morning just so my face wouldn't feel super dry, but I will go ahead and apply a little bit more of this. Don't need a ton of this. I've tried tons of facial oils. If you remember like my older videos when I was doing a lot of skincare videos, showed you like my skincare collection. I've tried so many and usually you have this range of textures with oils. This one smells amazing by the way. And this one is, I believe it has some rosehip oil in there as well. It's definitely like a medium weight oil. It's not a super dry dry oil, but it's also not a really heavy one. I really like this for under the eyes as well. Okay, so I was partially right. The first three oils in this are jojoba seed oil. Jojoba is a really good one for like more normal to oily skin types because it really doesn't feel too heavy like I mentioned. The cockadoo plum seed oil and then rosehip fruit oil and then a bunch of other like essential oils and stuff like that. I love this. I like the sheen that it gives me, especially when we're moving into the colder months. If you have dry skin and you haven't tried prepping with oil, really recommend. But even if you don't want to use that under makeup, it's great at nighttime. So this is my first time trying their skincare and I absolutely love this. So I would recommend. I guess not technically my first time trying their skincare because the SPF, I would say, is skincare as well. This is the Supernatural Radiance Serum. I always give this a mention as it's a beautiful sunscreen. I'm allergic to it, so I can't apply it and show you. But the one time I did try it, it was so pretty. It has a glow and a slight tint to it. So this compared to the new SPF, this has more coverage and I really like this one. This also has more SPF, it's SPF 50. And then I also wanna give a mention to the RMS Beauty Primer. Mine is empty, so I need a refill, but I think that says it all in terms of how I like this. I love this primer. It's glowy. It's pretty. It doesn't just act like a moisturizer. It actually gives you like a little bit of tackiness, a little bit of glow. It's not like glittery or shimmery though. So good for sensitive skin. So really like this as well. And I love that they sell a refill so I don't have to buy a whole new one. And then also for foundations, this I've tried their Reevolve foundation, which comes in the bottle that looks like this. Initially tried it, liked it, and then just couldn't get it to work for me. So the foundation is a pass. Same goes with the Uncover Up Jar foundation. That one looks so beautiful. It just doesn't have a wear to it. Unless you have dry or very dry skin, I would say I recommend it. But other than that, it's just too heavy and moves around even though it gives such a beautiful finish. But I would say this is probably my new favorite RMS complexion product, the Sun Corrupt Super Tint SPF 50. And this is the lightest shade, which they didn't come out with a ton of shades of these, but it surprisingly works for me. And I love this packaging. It's super sleek. And I'm just going to apply this with a sponge. If you want to like really hold on to the integrity of the sunscreen, I would say use your hands or a brush because water can start to break down your sunscreen but I'm just gonna throw it on today like this and this has like pretty dang good coverage I think they said it's light coverage but to me it's definitely like a medium like lighter side of medium coverage that is buildable it also feels very light for a mineral SPF usually they can feel really thick and heavy on the skin but like this feels lighter than the uncover up foundation for sure up next we have the uncover up concealer this is a really classic product from them they came out with this shade relatively recently I think this is the shade triple zero I will say that RMS does really good like super light they're definitely like an olivey shade this triple zero shade it's very very like a neutral cool olive type of vibe it reminds me of the rose ink concealer this one isn't quite as like cool toned as that one but this i do not like for under my eyes because it's so creasy it's so emollient might work for you if you have very dry skin but for me i literally just 
avoid it at all costs for the under eyes but i don't mind this as like a little bit of a coverage booster it's especially nice with the oil as a primer can be a little bit heavy though so if you have oily skin i would say maybe not like the best concealer for you these are definitely the cream products are more catered for like normal dry mature skin so since i don't want to do that concealer under my eyes i'm gonna grab this one from smashbox it's their halo pen concealer and this is the shade f10n it's a little whoops brush concealer nice and light and then i'm just using that same sponge to go ahead and blend it out now let's talk about the two powders that they have in their range first starting with their original powder which is the rms beauty unpowder this is a very simple powder it's literally just silica and mica so this is the kind of powder that's going to give you a lot of flashbacks so avoid this at all costs for flash photography but if you're not taking flash photos this is a very mattifying very thin silky powder i actually really like these kinds of powders for under the eyes if you have like really finicky creasy under eyes something like this that like really sets into your concealer can be a great pick also if you have like really sensitive skin and you need minimal ingredients i think this is like a classic from them and i do enjoy it and it also like especially works well with their creamier products because it is so mattifying so i feel like they kind of created those to work together but moving on to their new powder which is their hydra setting powder this is a tinted powder this has more shimmer in it it's more of a glowy like satin powder you do get a little puff in the top of this and this has a beautiful skin like finish it's talc free it's more of like a hydrating powder really good for your skin my gripe with this is that it is too dark for my skin so when i put it under my eyes it deepens things i use this on my face sometimes because i don't find like it changes too much but I really don't like it for the under eyes, which is disappointing. I wish that they had come out with a translucent shade or something that is lighter because even though it's a beautiful formula, it just doesn't really work for my under eyes. So I will actually be using both. Let's start with the unpowder. So for this powder, you really also only need like the smallest amount to so make sure to really get off that excess and just straight up inhale it. No, don't do that. And then I'm just going to set right under my eyes, also the sides of my nose, just those like more oily areas and right into my chin, smile lines. For me, this area right here is like always where my foundations or products will bunch up. And hopefully you can see just how smoothing and like diffusing this powder is. It's really a beautiful one. Can be a bit drying though. So I would say if you have a dry skin, maybe not the best pick for like everyday use. And then for the rest of my base, let's go into the Hydra setting powder. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna use the little puff that it comes with. So just a little bit, actually quite a lot on the lid of the product, work it into the sponge, get the excess off, and then go ahead and press it into the skin. This is a really beautiful finish. Like I said, I do like it. It's just the shade that was disappointing because I can't use it under my eyes. But honestly, I don't really, prefer under eye powders that have like glow in them anyway i feel like they accentuate texture a little bit too much i think you probably see a lot on my forehead how that sets the makeup down but it really doesn't take like the glow from your skin like it still looks very satin and pretty but yeah i think this base combo is really nice moving on let's talk about my fairly extensive range of face products that i have from them i think when rms started releasing this powder formula it was like a whole new brand like they really revived themselves moving from this cream base makeup that probably only works for a small amount of people to a powder that works for basically everyone because it's a non-drying powder it doesn't look powdery it's just beautiful so starting with the bronzer from them this is the hydra bronzer and this is the shade beach walk betty you've probably heard me talk about this i love it the shade is perfect that beautiful hydra formula where it has a glow to it but it's not too glittery or shimmery it looks like skin they nailed this shade for fair skin absolutely love this bronzer can't say enough good things about it like i just rave about it all the time when i open up my makeup drawer i always reach for this so i'm gonna go in with an angled brush and i'm just gonna pick that up and then make sure I get that excess off and this is really layerable like I feel like I can go in to the product quite a lot and it doesn't really ever look like too much or too orangey so I'm just going to bronze up the perimeter of my face whenever I use RMS products I feel like it's a good skin day every time just so beautiful I really hope that the camera is doing these base products justice just how smooth and beautiful they sit on the skin nothing feels heavy i really hate heavy feeling makeup especially as i'm getting older i'm like i don't want to feel like stuff's moving around 
or sitting weird and none of these products like have a lot of weight to them love them as i've been saying a million bajillion times but you know gotta rave about them a little bit now let's go ahead and talk about their blushes i have three from the collection here first i want to talk about the original one i tried which is made me fall in love with the blush formula which is called french rose this is like a blue based very cool toned pink i will do a swatch for you since i won't be wearing every single one of these shades it's the most beautiful like barbie pink if you have fair like neutral cool skin this is the shade it adds so much brightness to your skin i have just been using the absolute heck out of that one then i recently tried bermuda rose as well which is a really similar pink but i find that this is more of like a purple tone to it so swatch next to each other you can see this one has like a little bit more depth to it also has a little bit more of a purple vibe to it whereas this one's like a little bit more of a baby pink they all have the like similar amount of shimmer where it's glowy but it's not like a chunky shimmer at all and then my most interesting and newest one that i tried from them is called hanky panky which is like this beautiful it's a really interesting color it looks purple and then when you swatch it it kind of has like a orange base to it and then it has these like violet shifts don't know if you can even tell on camera so this definitely has a slightly warmer blush for sure if you feel like warm tones show up very warm on you i feel like it's still a really pretty blush and i like wearing it but if you wanted a cool tone definitely stick over here but this one is so unique and also very fall and this one does seem to have like a little bit more of a shimmer to it like it has more shift to it than these first two so i definitely want to show you what the hanky panky shade looks like on my skin with any blush especially if you have fair skin and you want to use a shade like this that is darker maybe a bit warmer make sure you're only using a little bit getting the excess off in the palm of your hand and starting light you can always add product but if you start light it is so much easier to build things up and see how they're going to look on your skin if you feel like this is pulling orange or muddy on you try going like way lighter like in general with any of your powders just use less and see if that helps you but yeah hopefully you should be able to see layered over that bronzer like it does have a slightly warmer glow to it but i still feel like it pulls like a very flattering like almost berry hue now i feel like i could build it up like a touch more more, really get that shade to come through so i wasn't sure if i was going to like this shade but it has been beautiful to wear especially for fall makeup so if you're unsure about it if you feel like you can tolerate a little bit of warmth on your cheeks i think you would like it i'm kind of on a mission to try all the shades i would love to try all the like cooler toned shades of this product be awesome to actually i could just buy refills and make just like a master palette of all these blushes because i would say high praise but they are my favorite blush formula of all time like when i open my everyday makeup drawer and i see other blushes they don't stand a chance next to these i always grab one of these so they also make the hydro formula in a highlight which i have yet to try i will try to pick that one up soon but that's sort of one of the products i am missing from the collection but i do have their living luminizer which is their classic cream highlight i would say out of all their cream products this is my favorite it's really fair skin friendly because it has a basically completely sheer creamy base to it and then it just has this like white pearly reflect it's kind of hard to show you on my hand but i'm just gonna take this on my finger and pat it on the tops of my cheekbones i also don't find that this is too heavy of a cream their creams are really nice and like it's an in-between where it gives you that moisture but it's not super tacky or sticky so like your hair sticks to it a bunch or anything i feel like this is a beautiful like cream highlight if i'm looking for a cream highlight i do usually like to pull this one out because it's so flattering and not very glittery either like just gives you that kind of glow next up i do actually have a brow powder from them which is their back to brow powder this is the shade light so i do find that this pulls slightly warm on me i will show you how it pulls on my brows just to show you it looks like it would match in the pan it's just slightly too warm for my preference at least but i'll also show you how i fix shades like this so i'm gonna grab my tiny little brow brush this is the bk beauty 208 it's literally the smallest little precise angled brush and i love Love it for brows it works so good so i'm gonna go ahead and just fill in my brows with this shade formula wise by the way i really do like this powder it has that little bit of sheen to it so it doesn't seem too flat in the brows but it's not super shimmery either i don't know if you can tell it's just like a little bit warmer than what i prefer honestly not bad though for it just being a light shade and not a taupe shade but with most of my brow products i've been doing this little trick so i like to do my brows like smaller in general because my eyes because my brows are like low 
lower set. So if I make them too thick or too dark, I feel like it just makes my eyes seem a little bit heavier. So I like to go in with a one size um, white foundation. You can also just use like a really light powder that you have and I just take like a little eyeshadow brush and then I just press this white pigment over my brows. This is probably only gonna work if you're super fair or else it's gonna show up like a little bit ashy. But what it does, it just like desaturates and lightens the brow shade. It also helps if I feel like a shade is too warm for me. And it's just one of those tricks that like I just randomly discovered out of necessity and I just really like what it does to my brows and the shade. So I do like the brow product formula. If you feel like you can find a shade that works for you, it might be worth a try if you love brow powders. Personally for me, I've only been using brow powders lately, which is a little bit different, but I like how soft they look. Before we get into the actual eyeshadows I have, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the Beach Walk Betty bronzer. I do this all the time in my everyday makeup routines and I'm just gonna put this in the crease. It just ties together the look and it gives you a nice transition shade and it's a beautiful shade. So you can really use it wherever you want. For their eyes, they have these eye lights. I have a new shade as my collection. So the original two I had were this purple, which is called Blaze and this other shade called Strip which is like the perfect taupe shade and then I wanted to try moon dust which is this like light champagne shade this isn't quite as light as I was hoping if they came out oh my gosh this is I hope they do this like a silver for the holiday season I would lose my mind I would definitely buy it I'm definitely picturing some like lighter pearlier shades because these cool tones are really nice and I do like moon dust I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you so you can see the differences and I do love these by the way they are a cream shadow they last such a great amount Amount of time like they do not crease and I have quite oily lids they dry down quite quickly to like a powder formula so I feel like that's what makes them so long lasting but you do have to make sure that you blend them quickly so this is the shade moon dust it's a really pretty champagne that middle one is blaze which is that purple like mid-tone and we have strobe which is this cool tone like taupey mink shade I think since the cheeks are a little bit warmer I'm probably gonna go in with the moon dust also because I haven't showed you what it looks like on my lids yet whereas I have tried these other two already and I really prefer to use my fingers with these so I like to get the product on my finger and then just go ahead and quickly Quickly tap that on to the area you want. I'm gonna go all over my lid with this light shade. And these definitely aren't super shimmery. They're like a subtle, really natural looking kind of shadow. They're quite layerable as well. So if you feel like you wanna amp up the intensity, sort of like what I'm doing right now, it is possible. I feel like these are kind of like the no makeup makeup version of eyeshadows because they also somehow like look like your skin is just glowing. Armes has some like magic they put in their products that does that. So I do really like this. I've also used these as liners before and I think I'm going to go in with the purple and actually do that because I want to deepen up this look and we need a liner of some sort. And I'm going to take like a shorter, denser brush, get that shadow on there and we're going to blend that out into a wing. And then I'll also put this on the lower lash line. The only con with these shadows is the tube can get a little bit messy. Your hands are going to get messy unless you use a palette. So if you don't love that, maybe skip these, but I feel like they're worth it and they're super pretty. I do have their straight up mascara here. This is a sample size. Try this before. If you've seen my other RMS reviews, I don't like it. I don't feel like it gives me a lot of drama. It also flakes on me. So this is definitely skippable. I'm going to go ahead and do probably a little bit of my Maybelline Firework Mascara instead. And one last thing I really enjoy about these shadows is even though they're long lasting, they're really washable. I was able to get them off of my hand easily. So when you're going to remove them at night, you don't have to like tug on your eyes. You know with some liquid shadows, they are like too long lasting where they're just like stuck on your face. It's not the case with these. So moving on to their lip products, let's first talk about their lip light. These are like their tinted balms. This is the shade Rhapsody. Do I like this formula? Yes. Yes, I freaking hate the packaging. It just leaks so much. It works like fine with the cream shadows because these aren't as like liquidy or melty, but this like kind of just leaks everywhere. I've had one of them where the top broke off. So I think if they re-release these into some new packaging, I'd be really excited to tell you that they're great. But because of the packaging, I just wouldn't recommend them. But I did get the chance to recently try their legendary serum lipsticks. I didn't try anything from the original collection, but they came out with the nudes and I was really excited. If you want to see all the three shades I swatched, I have 
have a separate video about them, but my favorite out of all of them is this shade Naomi. It doesn't pull as dark as it seems in the tube, but first let's put on a lip liner. I'm gonna do the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Ashton, which if you're not familiar with the Ashton shade, it's like a deeper shade of Cool BFF. So this lipstick formula is so interesting. It kind of feels like a burst of water on your lips because water, I believe, is one of the first ingredients, but they're a matte lipstick. So if you want a matte finish without that sort of drying feel or look, these are gonna be your favorite. I was so surprised when I first put this on. I was like, that feels like literally like a splash of water. It's really cool. And this shade I feel like actually pulls cool tone on me. They have like a slight vanilla vibe, but very, very subtle. They're nice and buildable. They do last for quite a lot of time. They're really layerable and like reappliable. I don't know if that's a word because it's a matte formula, but it's not drying. Like, you know, when you layer a matte lipstick, it gets like a uh, crusty looking. Even if you have some dry skin like I do on my lips now, it just looks so smooth and beautiful. And it's like a matte glow because you can see there still is a bit of like shine to my lips. It's not completely flat. Actually, for the heck of it, let's throw on some of the lip lights in the shade Rhapsody, just so I can use this up. Think about maybe like depotting this into a little container. It's a really pretty fall shade. There we have our finished look using the best and worst of RMS Beauty. Turned out pretty simple on the eyes, but just like the glowy skin is always what RMS inspires me to do because they do complexion so well. I really would say out of everything, the powder blush and bronzers are just like, top notch for me they're so pretty if you wanted to just try one thing i think starting with those you'll probably fall in love with the brand so i will have the link to the sale and also my discount code in case you are watching this out of date in the description box below along with all the products and shades that i used for your reference thank you for watching make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video and i will see you in my next one bye oh also gonna put another i'll actually put my rms beauty playlist on the screen here if you want to see any more in-depth reviews of the brand okay now bye for real